Hey everyone, how are you? I feel like it's uh, it's been a while as always because you know I like to go live and spend quality time with you guys all the time. Um, but uh, if you can't tell, I'm feeling pretty mellow. I'm feeling pretty at peace with where I am today. And um, which is really, really funny because I, I woke up in a completely different mood. So this is what uh, meditation will really do for you. Um, but I, I'm in a, in, in a state of um, I'm in a state of complete gratitude for where I'm at in life, and um, I'm really, really excited about Visualize, which is a workshop that I'm doing this coming Saturday. It's all virtual, um, where I'm going to be teaching people how to visualize, basically use visualization exercises, stream of consciousness writing, and um, and drawing actually to build the life that they want, get clarity, and step into it. And I thought, you know, during meditation today, I literally was like. I got teary-eyed at, at this moment and where I realized I, I have so many things in my life to be grateful for. And I decided this morning during meditation that I was going to do a six-day countdown um, to share with you stories of how visualization um, has helped me really become the person that I am today. And um, so this will be day, uh, this day, day one, I guess, of the six days because um, it's six days until the actual workshop. Um, and so each day I'm going to be sharing with you a story of how, you know, of what I visualized and how it came to fruition in my life. And um, so, and then if you want to follow me, I'll be posting every single morning um, what time I'm going to be going live. So my schedule is a little crazy, but I will tell you when I'm going live so that you can catch me and hear the story and ask any questions or give me crazy responses or whatever um, whenever I'm actually live. But so it's six days until Visualize, and um, today I wanted to tell the story about how I basically spent a lot of the last uh, year visualizing a space where I was totally in love with myself, where I, you know, I fell so in love with myself that I attracted people in my life that that loved me in that way and that respected me in that way, and. Um, Basically, I, I loved myself so fiercely that I was attracting a romantic love that was that would treat me with respect and kindness and um, this kind of passion that I needed, and that I was attracting friends and family um, in my life that uh, that were giving me that sort of kind of fierce, um, genuine love. And so each morning I would wake up. Gosh, this was back when I was like, I would wake up kind of lonely and. Um, and not that happy with where I was, right? Like I, I felt like I wasn't quite enough. I felt like I wasn't doing enough in my business. I, I wasn't um, achieving the goals that I wanted to achieve. Um, I was going to the gym, I was working on my body, but it didn't feel quite right. But um, so what I did was, is I, you know, I would wake up every morning and I would do this visualization, which you've heard me talk about a million times, I'm sure, which is imagining what my life is like in the future. And so I would say like, I remember, you know, or I, I'm so grateful for the fact that I am so in love with myself. I love the way my heart and my soul tell me how to be authentic. I love that um, I love my body. I love that I'm creative. I love that, you know, I have these ambitions and these dreams. And I love that I only attract people that really respect me and view me as equal and view me as, um, you know, X, Y, and Z, whatever it is that I was feeling that day. So, you know, if I was feeling, you know, kind of suppressed or repressed that day, I would wake up and I would say, I feel so expansive. I feel so in charge of my life. And I'm so in love with the fact that I love this. Like, I love that I'm here. And what would happen over time is every morning when I did this, I would actually feel so excited about being expansive and being in love with myself and so in love with, you know, the idea of this future of my body being a specific way or me being okay with being alone or, you know, whatever these possibilities were that I was, I was encouraging myself. I was pumping myself up for finding the kind of self love that you can only find from within. Um, I was reminding myself constantly that love is not an external thing. It's not about external praise. It's not about, you know, whether or not, this person or thing loves you. Um, and so over time, visualization for me reminded me that you are what you love, not what loves you. And so I learned and encouraged myself to make my glass overflow 
Because if your glass isn't overflowing, you can never pour, you know, whatever that liquid is into someone else's cup. You can never ask someone else whose cup is empty to fill yours. And so, you know, what has happened for me is that because I found the sense of self-love, it's become a domino effect. I love myself because I go to yoga. Oh my gosh, I, I should go to yoga. I started going to yoga. I love myself because, um, you know, I have, you know, been very dedicated to sharing my story and not afraid. I love myself because um, my core desired feeling is connectedness. And what am I doing? I'm here on Facebook Live with you guys connecting. And, you know, it's become all of these reasons why I should love myself and reprogramming my brain. You know, it's become that and it's and it switched from, you know, I'm not enough. I don't, I don't make enough money in my business, so I'm a failure. Or um, I'm single again for the thousandth time, so for, there must be something wrong with me. Or I, my friend just made a you know, degrading comment for the 50th time. There must be something wrong with me. I switched from, you know, I'm not enough to, oh my goodness, I'm way more than enough. Look at all the things that you that I'm doing for myself. I I love that I own my own business. I love that I'm surrounded by all of these amazing people. I I love all of these things. And what really happened with this domino effect too is that as I fell in love with myself, I basically was weeding out a lot of the people who didn't actually love me, if that makes sense, or love me in the way that I wanted to be loved. So the more I realized my value, the more I realized that my cup needed to be overflowing, that, oh my gosh, my biggest asset is actually being open, being vulnerable, being expansive, being able to tell my story. Um, you know, my biggest asset is my masculinity or whatever it is that that attract that allowed space it cleared so those people letting go cleared space for me to attract the people that loved those qualities in me i remember you know a year ago or so that i i felt like i had to be apologetic for you know things that are typically considered masculine like i own my own business oh my gosh why should i be apologetic for that but i felt like i had to create this this evening playing ground for the man Right. And which is totally unnecessary. Right. If you're going to play, you're going to play. I remember feeling like I was constantly molding to whatever everyone else wanted. And I would mold and then I'd be unhappy and then I wonder why I was unhappy. And so this shift of visualization for me has been like, oh, my gosh, I don't need to mold. I can be the you know puzzle piece where all of the people in my life you know, if you don't fit the puzzle, you, you don't have to be in my life and I can still be happy without you. Right. And so by creating this space, by remaining a puzzle piece instead of like a glob of Play-Doh, right. You, I have, I have created space to, you know, for genuine connection with my family, with some of my greatest friends. I've made a, a bunch of new friends since I started this exercise. And, and, and what's even crazier is I've made friends across the country. It's not like I've made friends, you know, just outside my circle. Like me loving myself has enabled me to go to conferences across, like in LA. And I met like these amazing, like three or four amazing people that I genuinely connected with and that I'm, that, that holds space for me in the way that I need space held for me. And I get to hold space for them that feels comfortable for me and what my level of self love is. And so instead of me molding, it's basically like we're helping each other move up. Um, it's kind of like, you know, you put your hand out and they step on your hand and then they put their hand out and you step on their hand. You're helping each other. And so because I was so confident and so in love with myself at that moment, I was able to go up to them and be like, oh, my goodness, your outfit is amazing or, you know, whatever it is. And I think one of the key things that this visualization has really done for me is um, it's helped me let go of this idea that I have to be lesser. I have to repress myself um, because I don't, and neither do you. And um, so, I mean, that's really, you know, a, a broad story of where I'm at with, with this idea. I'm going to go in the, during the next six days into more in-depth um, stories. Um, 
about how I've transformed my life. Um, you know, there's going to be you know things about health, things about relationships, things about just about anything on the spectrum of my life. Um, so I hope you'll join me. I'm going to be posting a Facebook status every single morning that tells you when I'm going live so you can experience it for yourself. And um, for all the dads out there, congratulations. Happy Father's Day. You are some of the most influential, impactful human beings on the planet. And um, I mean, we're talking about envisioning a day when you're so madly in love with yourself that your cup is overflowing, that you you are giving to someone else. And I think that being a father is is one of those moments where you're the more your cup is overflowing the better father you are and I'm so grateful that I had um, a dad that that was like that and that was always there for me and always supportive and loving and um, so I want to extend the happy father's day to every father out there um, and my grandparents and, and things like that so join me over the next six days I'll be sharing some pretty intimate stories about how this has changed my life and I hope that you'll join me on Saturday visualize um, I put the link here in the uh, I never know where the um, <laughs> where the words are for you but I put the link to sign up for the workshop on Saturday um, in the description and uh, I would love to see you it's all virtual so it's basically like a Facebook live just off the Facebook platform so it's private and, um, and intimate and what you'll be doing is you'll be getting um, you'll be getting all of your materials virtually so that you can get started and um, what else? Oh, and so the deadline is Friday because the event is actually on Saturday. So I got to be able to prepare for you. But thank you for sharing this time with me. Um, it's always so nice to connect. And if you have any thoughts, if you've had a moment in your life that has been transformational, that visualization has really helped for you, or you just have some comments or questions, feel free to comment. I love to connect. Um, and I'm, as you probably know, I'm on Facebook a ton. So, <laughs> all right. Mwah. Happy Father's Day.